Rob warned from 90 Day, Fiancé has no ambition or self-awareness. He's wrong to show a nonchalant attitude after cheating on Sophie Sierra. Rob Warren has become one of the most unlikable cast members of 90 Day Fiancé Season 10. The 32-year-old reality star debuted on the series alongside his British lover, Sophie Sierra. He appeared to be a great match for her and seemed eager to marry. When Sophie landed in the United States, Rob proposed to her at the airport. He did a little dance and asked her to be his bride. Since Suffy was also mesmerized by her mixed-race beau, she accepted the proposal. The wealthy woman seemed overjoyed to start her new life with Rob. The cracks began to show a few episodes down the line. Suffy settled in Rob's apartment and complained that he didn't even have a bathroom. To make matters worse, Rob showed minimal concern for Suffy's needs. He gaslighted her into thinking that she was wrong to expect a washroom. In another instance, Sophie discovered that Rob wasn't the man she fell in love with. She found sexual videos of him and dirty conversations with other women on his phone. Sophie moved out of Rob's apartment but decided to move back and continue her relationship with him. Rob has tried his best to justify his terrible actions on the show and on social media. However, he doesn't seem to be a good guy and appears to be a creep. Rob has a huge age gap with Sophie. Pairs like Gino Palazzolo and Jasmine Pineda have a large age gap, but their relationship makes sense, because Gino is aged while Jasmine is a single mom. In comparison, Rob is a young, unmarried guy who should be with someone his age. Suffy is in her early 20s and is in a completely different phase of her life. Despite that, Rob has dated her because he's obsessed with her looks. Rob is a horrible partner and his past actions prove that. Over the first few episodes of 90 Day Fiancé Season 10, fans saw Rob for who he has been all along. Viewers learned about everything, from his dirty social media actions to his sexual conversations. Rob first cheated on Suffy before his 90 Day Fiancé stint. He sparked an online romance during COVID-19 and sent dirty videos of himself to a random woman. He justified his actions to Suffy, saying, It didn't last more than a day without realizing that cheating is cheating, regardless of how long it lasted. Rob is a monster because he doesn't regret his bad behavior towards Suffy. Any man who truly loves their significant other would be apologetic for making mistakes. However, Rob has proved he doesn't regret breaking his British lover's heart. Throughout the early phase of season 10, he showcased no remorse for cheating on Suffy or devaluing her. Instead, he made excuses and hid his shady behavior. If Rob had wanted to, he could have admitted to his mistakes and been truly apologetic. However, he tried to win her back by saying illogical things like he's 1 billion percent committed to her. Rob has been manipulated from the get-go. When the pair reconnected at the airport, Rob prepared a dance for Suffy and decided to ask her to be his wife. He pre-planned the whole thing to give her no space to re-evaluate her life in the United States and tried to manipulate her into saying yes by putting her on the spot. His manipulative behavior extended further in later episodes when Safi caught him for cheating, and he made himself look like the victim. Rob claimed he only slipped a couple of times because being in a long-distance relationship wasn't easy. When Safi debuted in season 10, she discussed why she liked Rob. She showed sensibility and revealed that she adored her beau because she could relate to him. Suffy wanted to be with someone of mixed race who faced similar struggles in the past. She felt Rob was cute and nice and the right fit for her. In comparison, Rob was simply into Suffy for her looks. During his intro scene, Rob exercised at a gym and shared how Suffy's body was the reason he decided to pursue Herc. Rob's friends have also called out his behavior in the past. Before he proposed to Suffy with the dance, he decided to rehearse it with a friend. However, the whole thing didn't go as smoothly. The 90 Day Fiancé star's friend pointed out how he wasn't ready to marry Suffy because he couldn't even think of a 20-second dance. He then asked why Rob wanted to marry Suffy when she was much younger than her and had previously been on Bumble. The friend's remarks highlight that Rob may have simply dated Suffy for ulterior motives. Rob has tried to make it seem like his bathroomless apartment is an acceptable standard of living. However, he has likely done that to hide that he doesn't have a stable job and can't afford any better. Most women want their partner to have a decent source of income before they decide to build a home.
However, Rob cleverly manipulated Safi to accept his proposal before she could evaluate his lifestyle. Rob appears to be a failure for not having full-time employment and probably scammed a wealthy girl for obvious benefits and a carefree future. Rob has lost all his credibility by showing he's one of the most immature men in season 10. His ideology about having kids, the rush of getting married, and past infidelity scandals show he isn't marriage material. Fellow 90 Day Fiance star Gino did everything he could to bring Jasmine to the United States. He paid her bills, completed the K-1 visa process, and made all the arrangements like a grown man. In comparison, Rob showed no thought about Suffy. He has no idea about his future, no aspirations, and no decent apartment. The new 90 Day Fiancé star also never acknowledges his mistakes.